Hey, what's up? This is me, JDS4696. Today I'm giving my film review for Batman vs. Robin. Now this film is based on like the Court of Hours storyline which occurred in like the DC Comics, you know? And this is like a follow-up, as far as like the films go, it's like a follow-up to Son of Batman, which was released last year. And that was a good uh, DC animated film, you know? Well, this right here is known as uh, Batman vs. Robin. And it follows like, you know, like Damian Wayne, you know, who is the son of Bruce Wayne. And he is now actually officially Robin now at this point. Because Batman even called him like Robin and stuff like in the film. So it basically continues right after how Son of Batman ended. As far as like the films go. But like the actual like storyline itself is based on like the, uh, the Court of Hours story arc. Which was, uh, you know, it took place like in the comic books. So this is basically what Batman vs. Robin is based on, is that uh, that story arc. Whereas like the last, the previous film, which dealt with like Damian Wayne, you know, the son of Batman, I was based on like the Batman and son storyline, which was like in the comics, like, you know, like in like a, a comic, a, like a story arc in the comics. Now this film is like, a, a, again, like another director video, like film, you know, and it's part of like the DC uh, Universe animated original films. And like the uh, it was this time it was directed by Jay Olivia. He didn't direct the last one, which featured Damian Wayne, uh, son of Batman. But Jay Olivia directed this one. And like you have like the uh, the previous cast members like Jason O'Mara as a uh, Batman, Bruce Wayne. You have Stuart Allen as a uh, Damian Wayne, Robin, and uh, Sean Mayer as a uh, I think that's how you pronounce his last name. I'm not really sure. He is uh, he does the voice of Dick Grayson, Nightwing. You know in this one again and then you have uh, David McCollum as uh, Alfred you know Alfred Pennyworth again so all of them are reprising their roles from the uh, the previous like uh, Son of Batman film you know which was a great bat, uh, like DC animated you know animated original film I, I thought that was a, a good one now this time this film Batman vs. Robin now maybe if I gave it like, like a, another shot you know, like if I watched it a couple of times, kind of a lot of times the films like growing you, what I may enjoy it even more. I thought it was still decent, and I, I would recommend it. I, I enjoyed it, but it doesn't like really compare it to like the uh, the Son of Batman, which I thought was actually like better than this one, you know. But I, I, I thought it was still like decent, and like just like all their films, were most of the DC Universe films, you know, animated films, they have like superb animation again, like the animation, like the, the look of like Batman. Or like Damian Wayne, you know, like Robin, like the way they look is, is just like, it, it looks like excellent. Like the animation, I just, <laughs> I mean, it, it can't be top, you know, it just looks so cool, you know, like the animation and stuff. As like far as like the look of the film itself and everything, it, it just looks extremely cool. Like the animation is well done, from my opinion. Now, to be honest, I kind of had trouble following like the, uh, the plot of the film. Now, I know it's, it's based on like the, uh, the Court of Hours storyline, but at the same time, I know I still kind of had like a... Uh, <laughs> like trouble like you know like understanding what was like going on and all that that kind of stuff as well you know but like the court of hours they were like a uh, they were like a secret society and they try to court Damian Wayne into joining their society and they are, they are uh, a secret society that has existed in Gotham City for like years I, th I think it says like 400 years if I'm not mistaken something like that knows like it's been like a long time since they have existed and like at one point, like Bruce Wayne or Batman, well, I know this is like, I think this is known like also like in the actual story arc of the Court of Oz, which like the film is based on, and there, there are suspicions that they were actually involved in Bruce Wayne's parents being murdered when he was a child, you know. And plus over there at one point, I, th I think, now this wasn't in the film, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, but I think it's actually like in the story arc, they, they did approach Dick Grayson after his parents were murdered, you know, the Flying Graysons. But then this is before he became Robin, you know, they actually had to push him about joining, have him join their uh, secret society. But like the film doesn't really touch on that. It does have like flashback sequences which deal with like Bruce Wayne, you know, and it shows his parents getting like, you know, murdered as usual. And I thought that was kind of cool, you know, and it has like little references to like the owl and stuff showing up, you know, and like taking like the bat away, you know, and stuff, which I thought was kind of interesting, you know. But the film deals with like the, uh, the film it, it deals with like the continuing like conflict between like uh Bruce Wayne and Damian Wayne, you know, like their father and son relationship, you know. But at this point, like Damian Wayne he does seem more mature 
than he did like in the uh, son of Batman he does seem like more mature at this point and uh but when he's like <laughs> in the, the, the Robin mountain like when he's dressed as Robin it's like he's kind of back to that kind of aggressive you know like attitude type way you know but when he's like actually like Damian Wayne like he does seem to be like more mature you know but yeah like they, they continue to have like a conflict like over the idea of like uh you know like him like being recruited like Damian Wayne being recruited until like the court of hours so like Batman of course is against that you know and that's at one point they have like a confrontation and dust which is oh you know represents the title of the film you know like Batman versus Robin you know so that's when they like actually have like a confrontation and they only have like one fight sequence in the film you know it, it, it's cool it's decent I don't still think it, it could compare with like the fights they had like in uh the son of Batman I don't think I don't think it could kind of compete with those but they had like some uh, good fight sequences and you could tell that the fight scenes they did have in the film they were just how they looked at, like in the um, the Batman the Dark Knight Returns part one and part two or like Batman year one and stuff like that you know or like the son of Batman like the fight sequences you could tell they were like choreographed by the same team you know because it has like the same look which is cool because I like how they can throw like different like punches and kicks and stuff so I, th I thought that was like cool you know that they kept that same you know fight choreography in the film but yeah that's basically what it's about it's not really they don't have like multiple fights in the film like Batman and Robin but it just you know it has like you know they do have like a fight sequence and it's just basically like you know like the, the conflict between them and uh and the court of office are also trying to get Bruce Wayne to join the, the secret society as well too you know so you have that going on as well but at the same time Bruce Wayne also has plans to create a better Gotham City and he shows that at the beginning like to this woman known as I think uh I think her name was Samantha or something I'm not I can't, I can't remember you know but uh he has like like that was like another like like plot point in the film he has plans to create a better Gotham City but there are like the other like people that show up in this film like the uh one of the main characters like and actually like the villain of the piece is known as uh Talon and he's played by uh he's voiced by Jeremy Sisto and I thought he was kind of an interesting character and he's one that tries to recruit Damian Wayne to join like the the, uh, the Court of Owls and he's known as Talon that's his name you know he like because he's dressed all in black and stuff and he has like like an owl like mask over his face and he's, he's very violent, you know, but the film itself is, like, very violent, too, because, like, the deaths and stuff that occur in the film are very, like, violent, you know, and gruesome and, like, bloody, you know. It's definitely, you know, like, for, like, a more mature cry, I, I, I would say, you know. Only returning characters, like, from uh, Son of Batman, you have, uh, like, uh, Damian Wayne, you know, and you have, like, Dick Grayson, Nightwing, he shows up again. And he has, like, another, like, cooler fight seekers, but they were actually just training, you know with um, Damian Wayne, like Dick Grayson, like Dick Grayson and Damian Wayne, basically Nightwing and Robin are having like a fight like in a bat cave, but it's like a training, like they're like training section and they have a fight and it kind of, it kind of has like a reminiscent feel to it from like uh, the Batman and Son, the like, graphic novel, what comic series, you know, what storyline, well, because there's a scene where, um, where like Nightwing is fighting like uh, Damian Wayne in this film, the Batman vs. Robin film. And like uh, like Damon Wayne like ducks him and stuff and like kicks him or something like that and then like Nightwing like falls off like the little off like the the balcony or whatever. In the comic book it was like a scene just like that. Instead it was Tim Drake as Robin that uh Damian Wayne had knocked off, you know. And I was in the Batman the Sun storyline. Plus there was like uh like far as like um it's also references to like the, uh, the future like a Batman who is like Damian Wayne. I thought I thought that was a cool you know because I was that was from like the uh, the Batman and Son like storyline you know which Son of Batman was based on like the Son of Batman film was based on that and I thought that was kind of cool how they showed that again you know like the uh, the Damian Wayne in the future he's like a futuristic Batman that is like very violent he uses like guns to like shoot people and stuff. So I thought, I thought that was kind of like cool, like how they did that, you know, because he uses like guns and stuff to kill people. And I was actually like in the, uh, the story arc for um, Batman and Son, which is cool. Um, in the end, I thought um, the Batman vs. Robin film, I, 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 thought, I thought this one, it, it was good again. I, I would recommend it. And like, it, it's really like the animation of it, it just looks so cool. Like Damian Wayne or like... Uh, Batman, Bruce Wayne, or like say like uh, mainly them, you know, and like the other, like just the animation is, is just superb. Like uh, DC or like Warner Brothers, you know, they did a good job like on the animation. That's I, I would highly recommend it. If you're just like a fan of like 
like comic like comic book based like animation, I would I would highly like uh, recommend you know watching it. It wasn't as good as Son of Batman, you know, but I, thought, I think it was pretty. You know, it, it it was DC. I thought Son of Batman was like excellent. That, that's actually like one of my very favorite DC animated original films, you know. But I think this was pretty decent, and in the long run, it probably would get better, you know, after like a couple of like viewings, you know, I think it probably would get like much better. But I would recommend it, and it was nice getting like another like good look at the uh, the son of Batman, who was Bruce Wayne, you know, Damian Wayne. And you could tell like the way it ended, it looks like it, it leaves open room for like a third one, because Damian Wayne, I think he travels to like the Himalayas, and that's where Bruce Wayne actually had like training. When he was, when he was on his path to becoming Batman or something like that, I think. So Damon Wayne, like he ends up like in the Himalayas, like towards the very end of the film. And I thought that was kind of cool. You could tell they're, they're leaving the doors open for like maybe like a third DC Universe animated, you know, original film, which would feature like Damon Wayne again as Robin, you know. So I thought that was kind of interesting and cool. Hey, we might see it's possible we might see like Ra's al Ghul or Ra's al Ghul return, you know, into like the, the storyline. So was our like uh, Kevin Conroy as uh, Thomas Wayne, the father of Bruce Wayne, and, you know, Kevin Conroy is mostly known for doing like, uh, you know, Bruce Wayne, Batman voice, like on Batman animated series and a, lot of, and a lot of the animated films too. And even like in the other Arkham video game series too as well. He does like the voice of uh, Thomas Wayne, which is Bruce Wayne's father, you know. And plus, uh, Troy Baker, he's on here as like the Owl Lieutenant. But uh, I think this is like a decent film. I would recommend it, you know. Um, like it has an opening sequence, which is kind of cool, you know, like with uh, Batman and uh, Robin, Damian Wayne, you know, they're having a confrontation with the dog maker. You know, and he's kind of, you know, like gruesome looking. Kind of reminds me of Leatherface because he got like this like dog mask on his face, you know. Kind of reminds you of like a leather face from the uh, the Texas Chainsaw films, you know. But I, I would recommend it. But like again, what really makes it stand out is just like the animation of the film is just it's just really superb. Yeah, I really enjoyed like the animation of it. But it's just it just wasn't as good as say like um, Son of Batman, you know, any of those. I think it's kind of an improvement of over, over uh, Batman Assault on Arkham, which was kind of I thought that was still kind of good too, you know. But it wasn't as good as like the other like you know DC animated you know universe films you know. So yeah, this is my review for uh, Batman versus Robin, and yeah, this is JDS forty six ninety six. Alright. Hey now, this is my uh this is the my uh my collection that I have got. I always try to get like when I get like the DC universe animated films you know, they always have like these like collector figures and stuff that they come with so as you can see right here is like this version of uh, the Batman vs. Robin film it came with these this uh this Batman figure as you can see right here which is cool you know yeah. I like how this looks awesome now what's kind of different from the other ones it, he's standing on this like platform as you can see this rock platform I may give a better look of it within like the uh in the review for it but this ray is like the actual like Blu-ray, you know, because I have like the Blu-ray disc, you know. And as you can see, there's the cover with uh, Batman and like uh, Robin on the front, which is a cool cover, you know. Thought that was awesome. Now I ordered mine. I usually I usually get them like at like uh, like the Amazon. I mean not Amazon, but see like at stores and stuff like Best Buy or like Walmart. That's why I usually tend to get my. Uh, my fig, my you know, my, my uh, videos from when I'm trying to get them with the uh, with the collectors, you know, like when it has that collector thing. But it turns out I tried to get them and they were sold out at the time. And they do sell out quick. The ones that come with like these like these figures, they do like sell out kind of quick, you know. So the version I ordered, this is like the box that came in, and as you can see, it's like damaged up. Like when I ordered it from like Amazon, it came to me like damaged and stuff. It even got ripped up and stuff, but I'm I'm cool with it. Though. I'm not gonna uh, try to send the back, <laughs> send it back or anything like that. I'm cool with it because I'm I'm pretty cool with Amazon. I like I like ordering them. I like their service, you know. So I will keep it. But yeah, this is like the figure that this came with, you know. And there again is like a better look at the uh, the case itself and stuff, you know. Like I mentioned before, it came like in this box, which is like very damaged, as you can see. It looks very like damaged. I'm okay with that, though. You have them on the, on the side of it, like 
the confrontation and stuff, which is cool. It has a cool cover, just like Son of Batman. And this is the actual like case as well. Cool cover. And yeah, this right here is like the actual, as you can see, like figure right here that I have of Batman that it came with. Because the other ones, you know, they came with the, um, like the, um, I had like, a, I think the son of Batman came with a Deathstroke. The Deathstroke figure, if I'm not mistaken. I'm surprised they didn't do Damian Wayne, you know, like that he didn't get like a, like a figure. Yeah. So this is like the Batman, as you can see right here. Very cool looking. His cape even can be kind of like lifted. And I think his arms too, but I try not to mess with them because I know how fragile these can be, you know. So yeah, that's that's the figure that came with it, you know, as you can see. And this is a JDS 4696. And this is all part of my uh, Batman vs. Robin review. Alright.